Hi, my super parents and therapist. Hope you are doing wonders with your babies. I am here with something very crucial. When we all get worried in our sessions as well as parents, when we want to teach our child, but our child has his own agenda. Hello everyone. You are with Magical Speech Therapist and going to learn magical strategies. We try our best to engage him or her, but our child wants to do something out of our plan. For these children, taking turns is indeed a challenge. What should you do when your child is focused on something else and how can take a lead? Don't worry, I am going to teach you a magical strategy. First of all, find out his interests and activities that he enjoys. Like I have a student whose agenda is to play with his vegetable and fruits cards only. And he loves listening to the rhymes of five little monkeys. At the beginning, I observed him for both of his favorite activities and I saw that it is not easy to engage him in something else. What I did, I clubbed both the activities to inculcate vocabulary with vegetables, fruits and rhymes. How did I do? We played my little carrot jumping on the sofa game. And it fell down. Now carrot is crying. My little carrot jumping on the sofa. And it fell down. And now carrot is crying. Immediately he gave me tomato to make jump and cry. Then I did the same. My little tomato jumping on the sofa. He fell down and cry, cry, cry. Then we played for all the fruits and vegetables jump and fell down game. And all the fruits were not crying. Some fruits were very happy after falling. Some laughed. Ha ha ha. And then we did conversation. Give me, give me this fruit, give me tomato or give me apple. Now you take banana and oh yellow banana, green broccoli. Then I tried another rhyme with the, the child. Uh, I like to eat, eat, eat apple and banana because the fruits were also there uh, he was playing with. So we picked up a song of apple and banana to play with two fruits, which was a great fun. Uh, we, made, we made apple jam, we made banana jam, and we ate banana. Uh, we did colors of both the fruits. We shared fruits. You eat, you first you eat, then I will eat. I like to eat eat and while singing I was eating while singing he was eating and then um, in two to three classes he said apple not very clear but he said and then he said bana jump and pretend crying you know it was wonderful amazing session when he was one by one uh, uh, giving outputs not in single session but yes in uh, one session he said apple another day he said banana for banana and then he said jump 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 in another session and then pretend crying was always there when we were doing oh he fell down and crying so it was a lovely, lovely session where I shared experiences and uh, while he had his own agenda. Another way by changing voices and tickling if your child likes and comfortable, go ahead with one tickle and laugh. Then see if he is ready for another tickle or another tickle. So uh, you can say, I'm going to tickle again. While gaining some attention. Ask, do you want tickle? Yes? 
Yes. And this is the same child. He pulled my finger to tickle again. We were face to face in this activity. A great, great game to gain attention. And later he has learned yeah for yes. Yeah or yeah, something. So did you see? His agenda converted into a meaningful activity and later we played with more toys to jump and fell game. After some times we shifted to another song which I made for him with the traditional rhyme and we have learnt action words eating, slim, sleeping, after crying and then going to her home uh, we say now it's he's going home la 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 monkey is now going home he's saying bye bye so I say bye bye monkey bye bye monkey bye bye fruits bye bye vegetables all we we used to take all the names of uh, vegetables and fruits that he uh, likes so uh, these were some ideas to share experiences and teach your child when he has his own agenda or he is not focused towards you he's focused in his own games uh, so uh, do not ever uh, take his toys uh, or uh, uh, whatever he is focusing on you can uh, you can give vocabulary in the, in those games only uh, because this in this way we can take a lead of our child and teach them when they they are more interested instead of uh, pulling them towards us is, uh, and uh, asking them to um, cooperate when we have our own agenda we have to work on their own agenda if your child is uh, uh, showing that he has his own agenda okay so uh, for now bye bye thank you for listening me so patiently